peace is a journey that you go on back to your natural state. For me, peace is when a thought of God enters the mind. So peace is my nature. It's, it's who I am. So the deepest level, of course, is that that's my natural state. So then the, my work is to figure out why I'm not experiencing my peace. How do I get back to that? The spiritual path is figuring out the obstacles to what we could call peace, we could call it love or compassion, but my true nature. Often I think we think of peace as being related to the absence of violence and aggression, and of course that, that is so. But I think it's something much deeper and more profound that affects the whole of oneself and the whole of one life, one's life. And it's something to do with the presence of healing and wholeness and health. It allows one to really rest and feel a deep sense of well-being and peace. And a, a feeling that everything is well and will always be well. And trying to bring peace down on earth, on the practicality scene, is very difficult because the world is a world of effect. Uh, you cannot really tell yourself or even the others to be peaceful because the mind and the emotional levels never at peace. You must want it and want it truly. Dedicate yourself, your time, your energy to achieving it. That means you need some searching, seeking, and you will find some skillful means or method enable you achieving that peace. It got to be starting from the inner peace first. That means you have to be in peace in your mind, in your energetic existence, in your body, and in your emotional state. And able to do it, your consciousness has to rise high enough or deep enough. Your energy got to be pure and vibrant, calm, harmonious, spacious. And step by step to achieving it. What's it like? Feel it. You just relax, open, open your palms, rest your palms on your thigh, just prolong your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Relax your mind, open it, and you have some level of peace. We call it abiding in peace. Easiness, you feel comfort. And then just imagine that peace can be expanded and got more energy in it, more life into it. It becomes dynamic, more spacious, it including the sky. The sky open, it covers everything underneath the sky. And then extend forward more, including the moon and the sun. The spaciousness, but then including the solar system. And so forth, expand more. Within yourself, without yourself, you start to have a glimpse of dynamic peace. Add something in more. Add some intention of love. How can you get this intention of love? Joining with something so beautiful, somebody, the soul, the essence, the quality. And then expand this feeling, deepen it. You have a glimpse of that peace, that dynamic aliveness, that peace, deep inside you. And then, whatever you do in life, your work, do your washing up, cooking, bring this with you, bring this dynamic peace with you. And you extend it. You suffer, you're in pain, Bring peace to your pain. That means dive your consciousness with this dynamic peace into your pain, your suffering. Be at peace with your pain. Be at peace with your suffering. But you must get that peace first and then direct it into your perceived limitation and struggle. Join with me in breath. Listen. Listen to the silence. 
with me. And you feel peace. The silence comes with some wisdom. When you get in touch with that wisdom, it moves you, it touches you. There's a peace in it. That means dynamic. There's a doing without doing. Being, but then it's alive. Full of aliveness, wisdom. Movement in it. But at the same time, it's still. You are at peace. May you have this peace always.